I'm just watching a show. I'll put a link on Jesse Ventura has a conspiracy show and it's it's quite interesting. I've only watched two. It's two seasons. All, it's into the second season. So I think I'm going to watch uh, everything that he's done on it. The one other show that I watched, it was on uh, a report on an island that's just off of uh, New York City. There's some kind of island. I don't know that area, but apparently that's where the government's doing a lot of uh, research drug research if you want to know where they're designing weapons of mass destruction that's the island that they're working on and uh, there have been these body like beings that have washed onto shore they apparently escaped the island and you know got out in the water and then eventually washed to shore where some people have have seen it I think there's from what I remember, there was like two of these things that have showed up. So they're trying to mutate the human body to look like it's an alien of some kind, but uh, they are torturing human beings on that island. And on uh, the biggest danger is they are dealing with such high toxins is that as soon as you know if they have a leak that can wipe out New York instantly and apparently they're thinking of moving that whole operation into the uh, middle of the states right you know not on the island but right in the middle of the public and they're building weapons of mass destruction there <laughs> apparently it was a really, really interesting show. The show I'm watching today is on UFOs. And for anybody that wants to know the reality about UFOs, you might want to take a look at this. He's looking into Area, what is it, Area 51? And what is the big secret there? Well, they're showing you some of the most sophisticated technology you'll see some pretty wild technology and they are insisting that none of it is alien but they want you to believe it's alien they want you to know that this is alien technology that we're using and you got to make some sense out of this if this is alien technology that we are using and it came from 50 years ago when they first you know landed or captured these things where's the technology how come we're still driving cars you know, like it makes zero sense whatsoever because we do have the technology. And not only do we have the technology, but you know something, when you come up with a, an idea, there's no way, like even if you think it's the most genius idea on the planet, there's no way you thought of it first. Somebody else on the planet thought of it too. And that's how this information field works. As soon as a concept goes out into the universal field, the information field, it's there for anybody. And you can access that, you know, just wanting to receive it. So there's a lot of kids that uh, are being born now that are freaking geniuses. And a lot of them are coming up with perpetual motion. A lot of them know that uh, if you file a patent, the government takes over, they know exactly where you are. A lot of them know that you'll get killed by the oil industry if they do anything with this technology. Um, I've seen at least two free energy machines. You know, there there is no question it's out there. The only th thing is it's being suppressed because people are too freaking scared. And the ones that, you know, the government, the elites, everybody that knows it's out there because where do they get it from? every time you file a patent they get they know what it what's going on it's like they have a, a database of all of the highest technology possible and if they don't want a product used then they don't approve it or you know they will they'll even knock you off you know they'll do whatever they can to make sure that you can't make a business out of it but check it out 
kind of see what kind of technology humanity is capable of because we have a hell of a lot of better things on but we're just not using it and for anybody that is interested in UFOs um, this might open your eyes up to a lot of things every single thing every experience that's making us believe there's aliens out there it is the government it is these elites it is the corporate world that's using this these experiences to manipulate you with and part of what they use to manipulate yeah they abduct you but it's not like you know humans don't abduct other humans that's what we you know on this planet that is human behavior that's not alien behavior that's human behavior and then when they they I mean there's so many drugs that they can you know make you feel that you were paralyzed or you were this or you were that whatever experience you have that's part of the game and I mean it's it's like a stage set it's like a, a, a production a film production you know that if you get abducted I mean they want you to see what they want you to see they will do experiments on you and part of that games you know means we're gonna do a whole pile of shit to you and then let you back and then it's how you react to that that influences on humanity to believe in something else it's really vital that they they you know do these acts abduct people or give you you know these experiences that you know are real and they're not it's I would not say that they're not real experiences it's just that they're not aliens they are somebody here on the planet doing it just like crop circles you know anyways check out that show you'll start to see some cool technology I um, haven't quite watched the end of it, but I got so excited because they're saying, you know, exactly what it is that I've been saying. I had a comment even today where some guy was telling me I'm out of my tree to believe that there are no aliens, that, you know, that it would be stupid for us to think that there's not uh, more of us out there. And you have to understand the nature of reality everything that you experience outside of your skin is just your perception it's it's all coming you know one way that you can really understand this stuff is understand how the eye sees the eye is uh, how it receives light and then changes that there is a process to it and the way they understood how the eye works is how they make um, holograph holographs and everything is a holograph and to make a holograph every small little cell that makes up the holograph has all of the information of the whole entire picture it's not like, you know, one pixel has just the information of its own pixel. No, every pixel has all of the information of the whole. And that's how humanity works, is um, you have inside you information about everything. You just don't know how to tap into it. And you're being told that you can't tap into it. There's a, you know, we're only using a very small percentage of our brain why because we're trying to suppress it and it is a form of insanity um, if you want to say somebody's mentally ill if we want to agree that there are some illnesses that the brain just doesn't function properly that is what we're dealing with when you see these elites they are dealing with a mental illness because at the end of the day everything they are doing is an illusion you know it's it, nothing the evil that they believe in is not real you know it's 
it's a matter of, uh, you know, trying to understand why would you want to do what you want to do? Well, they want to wipe out the planet. Why would you want to wipe out the planet? Keep asking why questions until you get to the root. You know, as soon as you see, you, you ask a why question, you get an answer. There's always another, but why? But why? But why? And if you could keep asking those, but you know, why questions, when you get to the root of it, life seems a lot different. And that same process can be done with those people that are, are using, you know, believing in aliens. It's like, why do you want to believe in aliens? What is the purpose of you needing to believe there's something out there? What, how does that benefit you? You know, it's almost like it's an escape. Instead of dealing with you, what you need to deal with in self and how self is connected with each other as a, as a oneness, as a whole, instead of dealing with that, you want to escape. You know, instead of saving yourself and doing the right thing as all of humanity is doing the right thing, you want to, you know, think somebody else is going to save you. You know, you really have to analyze why is it that you have this need to think that there's something else there, out there. You know, like, well, you want to make friends? There's enough people that you should learn how to make friends here on this planet. Everything you want to do out there is something you should be doing here first before even thinking about anybody else. It's like, even if there are something out there, I mean, humanity will kill itself. If we go out there and there even was something else out there, trust, we'll kill them. We'll torture them. We'll do everything to them as they would do to us. So it's like, if you want to believe in aliens, it's like, if you're a loving person, don't go there because you'll kill them. Because <laughs> when... When you go, you take all of humanity. And there's a lot of us that will kill each other, so we will kill them all. So it doesn't matter whether you're a good person or not. You know, it doesn't matter what you would do if there were aliens out there and you went out there. You know, it's what we as humanity would do to them. Which brings it all back down to why do you even need to believe there is aliens? And why would you take humanity in the shape that we're at and push it on somebody else and you know in the in, in the biggest scheme of things it's like okay if if these aliens are so advanced then us how did they get captured by such stupid people like us how in the world can our inefficient technology somehow capture such advanced technology i mean you can't just shoot down this shit, you know, like what kind of weapon can shoot down it? such, you know, advanced technology. It just does not make any sense whatsoever. But anyways, there you go. Starting to get out the uh, truth about aliens. And I suspect that people that want to believe in aliens want proof there are aliens. They're not really looking for the truth that it's just a bullshit story because... What does that do for you? You know, if some, if the, if, yeah, like, I mean, if you're a believer in aliens, just let me ask that question. Just what if at the end of the day we found out truth and we found out there were no aliens? What does that do to you? How would that affect you? Are you receptive of it? And then if aliens can be disproven, what do you need? what would prove to you that there are no aliens you know or is that just the illusion that your brain needs to hang on to because you can't handle this reality and it, you know I'm not saying I, I don't mean that negatively like you can't handle something but let's face it most of us can't handle the truth peace out